Hello friends, welcome to WordPress video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we understood what is WordPress. In this video tutorial, we understand how to download and install WordPress in our computer system. We understand how to download and set up WordPress offline so that we can create websites using WordPress guys. So let's get started. First step is we have to download, install and run the WAMP server on our computer machine. You can see that I have already downloaded and installed the WAMP server in my computer system. If you don't know how to download and install WAMP server in your computer system, I suggest you people to watch my PHP video tutorial series. In that I have a video explaining how to download and install WAMP server step by step guys. WAP means Windows, Apache, MySQL, PHP server guys. To run it, I click on it. That makes the WAMP server to run guys. If I go to system tray, there is a W icon that indicates WAMP server and it is in green color that means the WAMP server is running guys. First step is done. We have to download, install and run the WAMP server guys. And the second step is we have to create a database in the MySQL server. We have to create a database in the MySQL server. Um, I click on this WordPress icon, go to MySQL and then I say MySQL console. It is telling enter a valid username. If you don't know, keep root by default. I have installed the WAMP server uh, with the default settings where username is root, password is nothing. So I leave the username as it is root. Then I say OK. There is no password. I hit enter. Now the MySQL is running. Here I say show databases, semicolon enter that displays the list of databases currently available. Now we can create the database guys by using the command create database and here we have to write the database name. If you are creating for example your own profile using WordPress then you say my profile as the database name or if you are creating a website for a specific company then you mention that company name. For example if I am creating a website for my channel then I say here Chidre's Tech Tutorials, right? Here I am interested to create my profile using the WordPress. So the database name I give my profile semicolon hit enter. If I say show databases semicolon enter, you can see the my profile database is created guys. I say exit semicolon enter. So the second step is also done. First step is what? download install and run the WAMP server second step is you have to create a database in the MySQL server to store and manage all the data related to the website that you are going to create right now the third step is we have to download and install and set up the WordPress itself so for that I go to browser I go to Google I search for WordPress download and then I click on download wordpress.org first link here we have download wordpress 6.1.1 button you can see that the recommended version of PHP is 7.4 or greater and MySQL is 5.7 or greater so if I go to the WAMP server PHP I have installed 7.4.9 version MySQL I have 5.7.31 so that's fine right now I click on this download WordPress 6.1.1 button that downloads the WordPress 6.1.1 zip file. I say show in a folder. So here we have the downloaded zip file. I right click on it and say extract here. After extracting we get a folder with the name WordPress. We have to copy this. Go to C drive. Locate WAMP64 folder. Open it. In that we have www folder open it. That is actually the root folder guys. In that we have to paste the WordPress folder. After that we have to rename this folder. I say right click and say rename. As uh, I want to create my profile right using WordPress. This folder name also I give my profile guys. Okay. We have my profile. Now we are going to set up the WordPress. I go to the browser and search for localhost forward slash here I say my profile my profile so if I hit enter it is going to ask you 
uh, in which language you are going to create your profile or a website so i say here english and then i say continue after that it asks it is asking for the database name uh, in which the wordpress need to store and manage the data related to my profile website it is asking the username of your mysql server and the password and the database host and the table prefix what it does actually is uh, it is going to create wp-config.php file behind the scene okay wordpress configuration file in that it gives all this information guys i say let's go you can see it is asking for the database name and the database name we have uh, given there my profile right our website name is also my profile and the database name is also my profile so that's cool right uh, then we have to give the username username uh, should be root right password nothing and database host is local host and table prefix we can have uh, wp underscore and then click on the submit button it is telling all right uh, you have made it through this part of the installation wordpress can now communicate with your database so it is telling that wordpress can now communicate with your database my profile understanding i say run the installation now it is going to ask uh, the site title okay uh, my profile is our website right the site title at present i am going to give here my profile only later we can change guys and then uh, username we have to give i give username manjunath and then i give the password here okay password i give uh, i am going to hide this okay i give password so i have entered the password here okay and then it is asking for the email id i say manju4560 at gmail.com and search engine visibility should be unticked because uh, we have not uploaded this my profile website to the server so we keep it unticked then click on install wordpress so it is going to install the wordpress as well as uh, it is going to create uh, your first site that is uh, my profile with the title my profile guys uh, let's say install wordpress it is going to ask you login so you have to enter the username and password remember the username and password guys i click on install wordpress so it has successfully installed the wordpress you can see wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy so username and password is available now we can log in guys he is asking for username so i say username manjunath and then i enter the password also then i click on login button once we click on login it takes us to the dashboard it is telling welcome to wordpress so you can see now we are in the my profile website dashboard so localhost forward slash my profile forward slash wp dash admin Uh, takes you to the dashboard where you can create new posts you can create new pages for your website okay you can change the appearance of your website etc we can uh, see our uh, profile also that means our website here we have my profile i right click on visit site say open link in new tab so that is how your profile looks guys that's how your website looks by default if you want you can change the theme of your uh, website or a profile by going to appearance themes okay so in the dashboard you can add new pages to your site you can add uh, new posts to your site you can change the settings for example you want to change my profile that's a site title uh, if you want to change you can go to settings go to general and here you have the site title for example i am going to say Uh, m a n j u n a t h manjunath space c h i d r i chidre and if i click on save changes and if i come here and reload the page you can see it is changed to manjunath chidre so local host forward slash my profile that is our website website local host my profile forward slash wp admin takes us to the dashboard guys okay that you should remember so you can do lot of things you can go to appearance and say themes and maybe you can say activate this theme okay this is a 20 21 theme if i click on activate and then if i come here and reload the look of our profile changes guys so hope you guys have clearly understood how to download and set up wordpress for creating the websites guys 
I suggest you people to try it yourself. If you have any doubts, please put them in the comment box so that I can clear your doubts. For this video tutorial, this much is enough friend. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about WordPress step by step. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be updated, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.